I made major improvement on HDR calibration and I want to share that with you. So we all watch uh, gaming tech videos. I like his content, I watch all of it, I learn a lot from him and I will keep enjoying his content. So you know he uses this app, uh, I haven't seen a video of him explaining where to get that app but I did my own search because I wanted to know for sure that the auto HDR from Windows 11 was working and it is working amazing in some supported games uh, you know with some minor issues of black level rays in some games the mid tones are just too high you have to lower it but I was so impressed with it and I wanted to know for sure so what I did is I got this app it is called you go to the Microsoft Store the app is called HDR WCG Image Viewer and you just download that app and on the games when you're playing the game you just press Alt F1 just do this you press Alt F1 and that is going to take a screenshot and that screenshot is gonna be saved on your videos so basically you're gonna come here uh, the screenshots you're gonna come to videos and it's gonna be captured here uh, you know watchdogs spider-man so that's it so what is so amazing about this is basically it allows you to know for sure what's going on and that's a great tool very smart uh, to use this tool so what this tool allowed me to do was to realize that auto HDR from Windows it is relying absolutely 100% on the on the profile on the HDR profile so let me explain you by default Windows 11 is associating a default 1500 nits profile to this LG C1 okay so basically it doesn't recognize the TV as an LG C1 and, but it does recognize the TV as an HDR display and just assigns a random profile which is 1500 nits so if you use auto HDR on Windows 11 with that profile I guarantee you it is not going to work well so what you have to do is you have to use this app CRU app okay and I'm gonna post the link on the description of the video so you do download this app It's called custom resolution utility okay so you just come here just come here on this app and you click here on their extension blocks you click add and then so you just double click here and then you go to HDR static metadata and max luminance 128 is going to give you 800 nits okay so here's what I did with 800 nits the auto HDR was actually on every single game so I tested GTA 5 Watch Dogs on every single game well on those three games basically Spider-Man GTA 5 and Watch Dogs it was calling for 839 nits okay so we know this LGC one is capable of 800 nits okay so we don't want 839 because it's a little bit more than what the TV can do so what I did is I tested if I change this value here will the auto HDR change how much you know how much brightness is the HDR calling and yes it does and here's the proof this was this was 839 nits when I was using 128 on the CRU app so here max luminance 128 which is 800 nits so when you go to display properties let me show you when you go to display properties and you set 128 here it's going to say peak brightness 800 nits and you might think well that's perfect that's exactly what this TV uh, yeah, the maximum luminance that the TV can do but when you actually test 
the Max CLL on those auto HDR games, you see 839. So what I did, I changed this max luminance to 127, and now the peak brightness is 783 nits, which is probably a lot more closer to the reality than 800. So now, with the peak brightness in 783 nits, the game is actually, all the games are actually trying to output uh, instead of 839, which the display cannot do, the games are trying to display 797. So why is this valuable to you? Let's say you have a G1 or you have an LG C2 or the G2. Easy. You just come here to the CRU app. You are going to play with the value here. Okay? Until you get 1000 nits or 900, 950, something like that on your display properties. Just play with that value. And by the way, when you set by the way, when you set up a value on CRU, you just have to click here restart so the changes are applied. So you just start playing with this value on your LG or you can have you may have a different OLED. It's going to work for any display. Just play with this max luminance value here until you get on your display properties, you get the peak brightness of your display, okay? Actually, there's a mathematical formula that I, that I somebody shared with me on, on the comments, but it doesn't matter. You can just play with the values until you get the desired uh, peak brightness here. So then after you do that, you try the auto HDR on Windows for a supported game like Spider-Man, okay? So then you're going to take a screenshot just Alt F1, you take that screenshot and you open that screenshot with this app, HDR WCG Image Viewer. And that is going to tell you the peak brightness of your display and it's going to tell you the estimated max CLL. So that estimated max CLL, you want that ideally to be exactly the maximum capabilities of your display. That's it. So let's say you have an instrument to measure precisely the max luminance of your display. Well, then you want that number to be exactly that number. And then you just use HGIG or even dynamic tone mapping off. <laughs> Preferable, of course, HGIG, but if your OLED doesn't have that, maybe tone mapping off is going to be a better option. I'm not sure. It might be dynamic tone mapping. But that's it. This is a major improvement because this proof for sure the auto HDR from Windows 11 is using, it is caring about that number. It is caring about this number here on the display properties by default this peak brightness is going to be 1499 so 1499 nits or 1500 nits that's wrong that's not what this tv can do so that default value is going to make the auto hdr from windows work wrong it's not gonna work well because this max cll is going to be beyond the capabilities of your display okay so what you have to do you use the cru app you change that number until you get the peak brightness of your display. Then you open the game. You take a screenshot. Alt, Alt F1. You test that screenshot on this app. HDR WCG. So you see the number. Max CLL. And you're going to keep playing with the numbers until you get the same Max CLL number as your display. That's it. So how do I know that's gonna work for every single game? Because I tested that already. So if I open, for example, a different game. So instead of Spider-Man, I tested before GTA 5. And it, it works consistently. 
it works consistently. So for example, GTA 5 here, the same estimated max CLL 839, and it doesn't matter the scene, every scene that have a highlight is going to tell you that number. So for example, let me show you another scene here that I took. Let me, so I took, for example, this scene here, same, 839 nits, and I took a different scene. So you see this is not broken. Oh, it's the same number because it's broken. It's not working. No, it is working. Let me show you a different scene. For example, this scene is calling only for 192 nits because there's no highlights. It's just driving on the beach. So it is working. Uh, so that's it. I also tested, for example, Wash Dogs 2. Let me show you. With Wash Dogs 2, the game, I have to open. So we have to open the image with that program. It is difficult to move the mouse because I have it. Okay. So for example, here it was calling for 758 nits, which is perfectly, it's perfect for this display. Display has no problem doing that. So that's it. That's how, that's how you do it. So I basically, I was able to test on all games that was the, the behavior. And that's how I fixed it. That's how I got a better result. And I swear, maybe it was a placebo eff effect. But when I opened Spider-Man, after making that change, I opened the game and I noticed this was brighter and it was better. Just by opening it, I was like, yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't like to curse, but <laughs> I was so happy without even taking the screenshot and testing it because I knew for sure it was better. So try this out and let me know if it works for you. Uh, and if you have any questions, maybe it was too much information. And yeah, just a final note. Um, you know, my don't. My intention is not to steal gaming text. Uh, you know, uh, idea of using this app. I mean, he didn't invent this app, but uh, I just learned that from watching him. Again, that doesn't mean I, I don't need to watch his content anymore. I, oh, I will still watch his content because I think it's great and I learn a lot from him. I, I always try his uh, settings and I definitely recommend you to watch Gaming Tech's analysis. He's an expert. He, ha he has been doing this for a long time, but I think it is power to you to know about this tool. And if you want to do it yourself, go ahead. But really the work that he does is very valuable because not everyone wants to <laughs> be doing all this stuff people just want to play the game so <laughs> but that's not me i like to to know why and i enjoy i enjoy this uh, to be honest so yeah uh, that's it let me ask let me know if you have any questions